the church's compact structure, similar to a body. From him the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love, as each part does its work. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 16. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one true God. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, let us delve into the profound significance of the term brethren as it pertains to the spiritual entity, the sacred body of God, known as his church. This divine assembly, intricately crafted by the hands of the Almighty, finds its unity and cohesion in Christ. The Apostle, in his boundless wisdom, employs a poignant analogy, likening the church to the human body, a metaphor that vividly captures the essence of its interconnectedness. In this spiritual anatomy, Christ assumes the role of the head, the vital source from which the entire body derives its purpose and coherence. As the nervous system permeates every fibre of the human physique, so does the influence of Christ extend to every corner of his church. Through this intricate network, the faithful discern the spiritual realm, experience the depths of love, and are moved towards God with purpose and conviction. It is as if Christ, through the spiritual anal analogues of the brain and nerves, is omnipresent in the very fabric of the church. Just as the decapitation of the human body results in instantaneous death, the separation of any member from the church severs the lifeline connecting them to the head, Christ. The consequences are akin to a body part detached from its nerves, rendering it lifeless, unresponsive and inert. This analogy serves as a stark warning against detachment from the church structure, as such an act symbolises a rupture with the very source of spiritual life. In the grand tapestry of the church, Christ's presence permeates every faithful member. It is through him that spiritual strength is bestowed tailored to each individual's unique role and endowed gifts. The Lord imparts this strength, not as an abstract force, but through direct contact, a divine touch, and the intimacy of his personal presence. Love, the celestial bond that intertwines Christ with the faithful, and binds believers to one another, stands as a testament to the beauty and significance of this divine connection. Let us then, dear brethren, ponder the fate of a body, of a body part detached from the guiding influence of the head's nerves. In parallel, Reflect on the spiritual consequence when a member of the church withdraws from its structure, severing the tie with the head. In such an instance, spiritual inertia, insensitivity and a sense of spiritual death ensue. May God in his boundless mercy shield us from the calamity of such separation guiding us to remain firmly united 
within the nurturing embrace of his church. O oh Lord Jesus, the source of life and love, do not allow any dark power within us or without us to separate us from thee and thy body, thy holy church, that thou hast purchased with thy precious blood. To thee be glory and praise for ever. Amen.